Welcome to today's Money Man at 75. Guys, I am back for another video, back for another reaction video. And there is only one place I can start today. Hibs have their man. We've got a new manager in charge. Jack Ross has signed a three and a half year deal with Hibs. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I'm feeling quite positive about it. It has to be said. Um, I find it quite ironic in a lot of ways that people are feeling quite negative about it. I think a lot of people, from what I've seen on social media today, and for well, the past couple of days really, is the fact that they think that this guy is just a yes man. I don't really see that, to be honest. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he done a good job at Alloa, which led to him getting the job at St Mirren. They were nailed on favourites for relegation. The season, the last season that Habs were in the Championship, they had a better record in the Championship in the last like 13 games of the season than what we did. We ended up winning the league. I think that needs to be remembered. Um, and then again, they were certainties for probably, I don't know, a bit of mediocrity following the season. And they romped it. You know, and that was again a league that had Dundee United in it. It had, you know, it had quite, the Championship has got good teams in it. You know, I don't think the Championship gets the credit that it does, uh, sorry, the credit that it deserves at times. Because obviously when Hibs were in the Championship, we struggled at times. You know, we struggled with the teams who were in there. Look at teams like Dundee United who are still in the Championship. You know, they've gone into four years in the Championship. You know, it's not a bad league. But he took the, that St Mirren team, turned them into champions, brought them up to the top flight. Sunderland came calling. I don't think a lot of managers would have turned down that opportunity to go from the Scottish Championship to, I'm not going to say to the Scottish Championship to English League One. I think, you know, the size and stature of the club that Sunderland are, you know, Sunderland again, one team town, massive support there, great stadium, great training complex there. The, 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 the potential for being a good side is there. I think that is fair to say. And Jack Ross took them to Wembley twice that in that one season um, was very unlucky to lose out um, in the, the playoff final against Charlton you know I think they conceded in like the 95th minute or whatever it was so they were very very unlucky um, and I mean yeah I just to be honest I, I don't know would things have been different if uh, Charlton hadn't scored that goal we'll never know and then obviously you go into this season, Sunderland still in League One. They had to obviously to sell players to balance the books. That obviously then trans transmitted onto the, the pitch. He got a lot of draws, he ended up getting sacked. Which I'm not too disheartened by because if you look at Sunderland's record, they hire and fire managers quite well and early. You know, the ones that I can think of, people like Simon Grayson, Chris Coleman, um, obviously Jack Ross himself. You know, there are managers in there who, like Martin O'Neill, Steve Bruce, uh, Paolo Di Canio, Gus Poyet. You know, there's managers in there who, are, who in their own right, are good managers, but who probably didn't get a, a real crack of the whip at Sunderland. But again, Sunderland were that kind of team where as long as they were in the top flight, they were doing okay. Even in the Championship, they were doing okay. It didn't work out on both occasions. And now in League One, I mean, if you actually look at Jack Ross's record at Sunderland, I think he had 80 matches in charge. And he's got a 50% win record, well, win, win rate. So he done not too bad with them. And to be honest, whoever came in at Hibs just now, I think if they realised how to actually utilise the team that we've got, I think the job will be, I'm not going to say the job will be easy for them, but the job will be easier. You know what I mean? In my opinion, Paul Heckenbottom did not want to play football. He did not. He was far too conservative. He always wanted to protect Leeds. I think he really genuinely underestimated the Scottish League. He thought it was going to be a doddle. It didn't work, uh, obviously. And to be quite honest, I, I am feeling positive about this appointment. I, I really do feel positive about it. I mean, 
I'm not one of these people who believe that because he turned down Hearts, he's automatically a favourite with, with Hearts. I think he's got to go and earn that right to be a favourite. I think he's got to go and earn, you know, earn everything he gets with Hearts because it's not going to be easy. Yes, he's came in at the right time, obviously. We've just came back off the, the back end of a 4-on-1 against St. Johnson at the weekend, which was good. We've obviously got a home match coming up against Motherwell next after the international break. That's obviously a chance for him to show what he can do. Um, and, you know, that will be it will be interesting to see who he can bring in in January. If you believe rumours, the rumours that I've been hearing that he's got to try and get, bring Dylan McGeoch back to Hibs, which, if he manages that, perfect. Because Dylan McGeoch's a player who we've missed. And I really wanted to keep Dylan McGeoch. Obviously, he wanted to go to Sunderland. He wanted to get a wee bit of a, a bigger wage, which is fair enough. Um, the gamble on a lot of ways is probably not paid off for him. You know, so he's going to do what Scott Allen done and come back to Hubs. If, again, rumours are to be believed. But we'll have to wait and see. But, I mean, honestly, guys, I just think that the potential there for Hubs just now to go on and be a really, really good side is there. Do you know what I mean? It is really there to, to go and just, as I say, to, to have a really good second half of the season. The potential is there. Will it happen? I don't know. Uh, have we got it? Have we got what it takes to do that? I don't know. I really hope so. As I say, I think January will be a, a really interesting time to see who he can bring in and who we can afford. Um, equally, it will be interesting to see how the current players that we've got go into his philosophy. I think, to be honest, if you're a player like, for example, if you're a player like Scott Allen, you say to the manager, play whatever system you want, but I want to play football. Which is apparently what he tried to say to Heckenbottom all the time. It didn't work. You take somebody there like Christian Deutsch. Christian Deutsch scored a hat-trick there against St. Johnston. The first hat-trick of his professional career, and it was because he had Flo Camberry beside him. Camberry set up to these goals. That's what Canberra can do as well. You know, I think there's such a uh, an area partnership there. I definitely believe that between Canberra and Deutsch, we could have a, a real good partnership there. As I say, will it work? I don't know. I really, really hope it will, and I hope it does work. But again, we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but no, honestly, guys, I'm, I'm chuffed with the appointment. Hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, this... Doesn't come back and bite me on the arse later on. We'll have to wait and see on that. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions on the appointment. Obviously, another wee side note, folks, before we go anywhere. You must well have noticed by now that my tash is becoming a wee bit more predominant. That is, again, because I am doing Movember. I'm going to leave the link to my Movember page in the description box below. Uh, if you want to donate to that, just follow that link. And whatever cash you can donate to me would be... Fantastic. Or donate to, to Movember, I beg your pardon. It would be very, very much appreciated. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see how uh, things go now from now on. Uh, if you want me to do a video for the Scotland and Cyprus game uh, tomorrow, by all means, stick a, a like in the... What's it called? Sorry, I've just a complete mind blank there. Please like the video, that would really help me out if you do that. Thank you. Sorry, I have a complete mind blank there. Um, if you like the video... Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to channel Money Mentor 75, click the bell icon beside the subscribe button, that will let you know when I upload. It really is as simple as that. But that being said, guys, I'll see you later on and enjoy the rest of your weekend when it comes. <laughs>